that's um, what I'm confused about is like people are acting like all of the information that's being given out right now is new. Right. And it's, then like people are acting like like shocked too. And it's like these are things that we've been screaming and shouting about for years. And yeah, now I your guess. brands are conforming to the shit. And yeah, like yeah. now you guys are trying to listen. Like what is the disconnect? I, Why do you guys have to see like an awful video for you guys yeah. to care? I don't. I'm not, that's like, surprising. You only know one thing about Leo. <laughs> <laughs> they be making everything now. <laughs> really? Yeah. What all do you know, know about Leos? All I know about Leos is uh, sh- usually they got strong personalities. Yep. And they kind of live up to their name in a way, where it's like uh, just dominance. Mm, mm-hmm. <laughs> is it? Is that? I feel like. It, it's like on the spectrum like leos are either like very out there or very reserved i'm really? the reserved leo where like mentally i'm like okay i'm dominant but like yeah, yeah, yeah. in real life i'm like uh fuck the world how do yeah, i yeah. cope yeah yeah, yeah 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 that's crazy so but like i feel like that can be um a lot of people too like yeah. that aren't leos you know what i'm saying so yeah, it's really more so like an extrovert versus an introvert. Yeah, type yeah, thing. yeah. Okay. Oh, I might not hit record on there. I see a red button. There we are. You want to clap in with me? Yep. All right. I'm gonna try to like. Okay. How do we get synced? <laughs> okay. Count down. All right. Three, two, one. That's a little off. <laughs> I was okay. a little off. That was that was a little <laughs> off. All right, let's try it again. Three, two, one. That was good. Ooh, I, felt, I felt that, that was one. Fire. I felt, I felt that in my soul. Yeah, <laughs> I was, I was like, about wait. to say the same. <laughs> that one, that one hit. <laughs> that one definitely hit. I and I feel your like hair <laughs> on my head. I know. I was like, when I saw the photo, I was like, wait. <laughs> my head takes up the whole frame. That's all good. <laughs> it's, funny. It's, it's actually beautiful. It's the Leo hair energy. Yeah, yeah. It's the whole vibe. Yeah. So how are you doing? How are you feeling? Um, I feel okay. Okay. <laughs> there, Questionable. <laughs> there's a lot of context to the okay. <laughs> like how long that it was a lot of whys in that. I know. I was like, I had to think about it, but then I just went for. I think it's like it's hard to say that you're good right now with yeah. everything going on. Yeah, yeah. You like just, you can't just be like, oh, I'm. You good. went with the stock answer. Right. Like. <laughs> I know. The there's stock. options like I'm fine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Whatever uh, to not like doing? dive in to, right. to avoid all that, right? You know, but we see we we kind of we trying to we we get we get that. in there. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> see, that's the um, default answer. <laughs> I don't know. How am I today? I'm better. I'm. I feel like I'm up a little more than like past weeks. Like it's. Mm-hmm. I'm climbing up to like, um, a you know better a better place, but you know, it's always darkness in the shadows. You know what I'm saying? You right. Know, Even when things there. are going your way, there's yeah. always that one thing in the back of your head, and you're like, yeah. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's always gonna be there. I guess right. just kind of like, um, it's kind of weird, but being like accepting that that it's always gonna be there. Right. You know. Right. I think that's. That's what's happening nowadays. Yeah, that's what I've been working on right now is like acceptance that acceptance of the fact that things are out of my control. Mm -hmm, I feel mm -hmm. like last even last year, my whole life, Mm -hmm. I like I'm always like hyper aware of like being the best person for everybody or pleasing everyone, making everyone happy or making the best decisions. And like, yeah, now I'm kind of just like if shit happens, shit happens. (laughs) Like acceptance is a beautiful thing. Yeah. Like, are, are you accepting of like like the repercussions of that? You know what I'm saying? So, like, it, it just sounds like, you know, as, like, a people pleaser, you know, the opposite of that is you're going to kind of leave people hanging in, in some cases. Right. So, like, 
have you come to terms with like because that's something I'm still working on too mm-hmm. like you know like have you come to terms that like some people are just going to be looking at me kind of crazy like <laughs> I just kind of just let them yeah I think hang, so hang dry you kind of just like once you like, I think because also like being a filmmaker has like forced me to be around so many people and yeah. so many different kinds of personalities. Yeah. Where it's like, there's no way in hell that <laughs> everyone's gonna like me. You That's know? a lot of people you come in contact with. Yeah. In a day. Like exactly. it's not normal how many people. And then it's you got not. like the full spectrum of personalities on of it. Right. The person, the different personalities, and I feel like. Especially as a DP, I mean, I don't want to talk about work, honestly, but as a DP, like, it's kind of like a, you're like a politician. Like, really? you need to, like, please everyone. You need to make the producers oh, happy, the directors yeah, yeah, happy, yeah. the talent happy. Yeah, yeah. But also, you still need to be kind of, like, authoritative. Yeah. And so, like, it's not your job for people to like you. It's, like, your job to you do the that. job, yeah, <laughs> essentially. The, like, the best thing to work type of thing. Yeah. But so, like, you, you have... So you think that like kind of numbs you in your, like your your personal life at some point? Like, yeah. Well, you just read me dry. <laughs> <laughs> you just read me dry. Oh my god. Yeah, I feel like I'm on your hair. I'm sorry. Oh, you're fine. It's like a pillow. It's, it's <laughs> it smells fine. really good, by the way. <laughs> I wish you. everyone can smell it right now. A week. <laughs> um, yeah. That's that's just real. I feel yeah. like yeah. You just kind of get numb. You to just get kind of numb to shit, and yeah, then yeah. it's just different coping mechanisms, and then you realize, oh wow, I need to know when to switch off. Yeah, like you. Do you get numb to like the the incoming things, or I mean, I hope I'm I'm hoping it doesn't numb like you as a person, like what you. Like you as like like your soul in a way. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, we, <laughs> like, I, yeah. But like, I hope it. You know, I hope you can still still express yourself in a way. You know, like that's right. true and genuine to yourself. Yeah, I think and it's you, like I'm just scared of. Get, I like I'm not numb as a person, but I can see myself getting there, and okay. that's what scares me. Yeah, Do you ever feel that? Yeah. Um, I feel like now. I, right now I'm really trying my best to so I feel like that was that was me my whole life like mm-hmm. I would just kind of just being like people pleaser guy you know what I'm saying just right. kind of like um do what's best for everybody outside of myself really in attempts to just be left alone you know what I'm <laughs> like you yeah. do everything just so like people can leave you alone in a way right but yeah, now it's it. getting to the point where it's just like i think i you know i'm more aware of my feelings so it's like now just like leave me alone up front instead of like trying to do the most so i feel like i'm getting more sensitive to myself in a way mm. it's like it's going in the opposite direction what's your sign um, I'm a Scorpio. Oh wow! I did not. I did not guess, guess that. Really? <laughs> I did not guess that. <laughs> what? What did you? What, I thought what you were I, like a Taurus or like a Pisces for what some did, reason. What is that? What? Do, what do they do? Tauruses are just like very like. Way hey, if shit happens, shit happens. Yeah. <laughs> like kind of what you just explained. That's yeah. why I was like, oh, he might be a Taurus. I'm yeah. Not sure. But I don't know signs like that. I feel like I I want to get more in tune with that, but like I, I just don't know like. <laughs> Yeah, I just I feel like that's a whole other career where, change. Yeah, too. Where, like where do you start? With that? Right, like, so much. It was funny the other day. I was just like chilling in my in the living room, and my roommate like she's in the kitchen. She comes out and she's like, "We need to like do your reading soon." And I was like, "Bitch, what does that mean? Do yeah. you see something?" <laughs> what is it? like? Is there something? Do I, have a, I know that scared the fuck out a, of me. Do I have a booger on my soul or something? Like, I was up? like, did they do something wrong? Yeah, and she was yeah, like, yeah. no, we should just do a reading when you're free. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, yeah, cool, bet. But I'm just like, well, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. something sparks in her. Something's all right. <laughs> Some, th- something's in the distance. And that should be real. Yeah. It'd be real. So, real. you like, yeah. So, like, where do you, where do you, where can we even start with that? Like, because I don't know. I I feel like I should know more <laughs> about Right, about same. That, 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 But, it, like, it just never comes up. Like, I just don't have a need for it, really. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like there's a... For me, it's like a balance. Like, I 
I listen and like I'm open and receptive to learning more about spirituality, but yeah. like I'm just a very cynical person. Mm-hmm. And so like <laughs> it's why, me cynical but trying not to be. Why is that? Why are you why do you think you're cynical at like just like, um naturally? Damn, that's like my whole life's tea. <laughs> yeah. But I think it's just like past experiences, like mm-hmm. I don't know, uh I'm just naturally I just look for the worst in people, which is like yeah. a bad habit of mine yeah, but also yeah. like it also goes into my job too like i don't expect the most from people yeah. you because ex- then i get my hopes up you expect a shit show right yeah. exactly you yeah. expect for a shit show so that you don't yeah. suffer in yeah. the end <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, I'm the exact same way like, right I, like i expect the worst and hope for the best in in, in, in a way Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, it's that's like a defense mechanism. Yeah, I think it's just like a coping mechanism. That yeah, for sure. It takes years to deconstruct. But I guess like, when did that start? <laughs> when did that develop? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, uh, when I was a kid. Yeah. I came out of my mama like in the know. I'm not even kidding you. <laughs> where were you? Where were you born? I was born in San Diego, but I moved around a lot when I was a kid. Okay. Um, my parents got divorced, and then. Like my family was just really indecisive so I was just like hopping from living in uh, Mexico and then like Belize oh, wow. like <laughs> internationally yeah and then I lived in South Africa for a minute and then I Damn. lived in uh, Palm Springs where it's like where I ended up and then I moved to San Diego it was like just hopping around the globe <laughs> How, like I mean that's a lot of movement yeah between what age did you think uh, it was like from when I was born until I was like in high school Oh shit! So I was like you, always you were, moving. Yeah, that was like the real impressionable years. Yeah, like <laughs> and that's why it's like that goes back to what I was saying before. Like I've just seen a lot of different kinds of people, and yeah. so like I was just like when I was younger, I would just was kind of forced into situations where I would have to learn about things that yeah. maybe I wasn't necessarily like ready for, like geared yeah. for. You had to learn stuff early. Yeah, and that's why people are like, Shadi, you act like an auntie. Like, yeah, I have yeah. like such an old soul no, just because I've seen you. Life hits you like fast. Yeah, like you just came in re- very quick. Right, yeah. yeah. So, like, that, how were you in high school? I was like, so I ended up, the high school was when I ended up in Palm Springs. Mm-hmm. And I grew up. How was Palm Springs? Because, like, bro, I feel like nobody <laughs> lives there. Everybody just goes there. <laughs> We were roasting Pasadena earlier, but literally no one lives in Palm Springs. Like, uh, yeah. it was slim pickings. Yeah, yeah. There were no black people. Like, Absolutely it was, all, it was just white suburbia, right? And yeah. I was also like a private school kid. Yeah. That's a whole other story. But Same here. I, I right? Private school, How, way, private school really fucks you up. It, yeah, it, it's a double-edged sword. Right. It kind In a way, it kind of like, in a sick way, like in a, just like a very dark way, it prepares you for the world. Yeah, right? But like also... I mean, I mean, as as a as like a black person, mm. but like also, it's does it in the most detrimental way. But right. Yeah. How long did you go to private school? For a minute, for up until my like, whole high school experience. Wow. And like, I went to school with like kids who were like their parents were like politicians, oh, and like yeah, you, celebrities, yeah, and like yeah, business yeah. owners and yeah, shit. So yeah, you can all the the the. The gutters of like yeah, the humans. whole span of yeah. life, <laughs> right? like of humans, like you just getting like the armpit of like what, yeah, you know, the human experiences. Yeah, literally, like even when I would go to my friends' houses, they would live in like these mansions. Yeah, and I was like, whoa, because like, there's no like, like this? yeah, there's no like uh, ceiling for like the like the just the debauchery that can happen. You know, what right, I'm saying? Yeah. right. It just it becomes excessive. Like you see, I feel like that's. It, that, but it was interesting like most kids like they see all these riches and stuff and you're like oh i want that but i saw that and i was like these people look so sad like yeah they seem like they hate their lives they hate their marriages they're yeah. iffy about their kids you know and i was yeah. like that's not what that's I. that's crazy that you you were able to see that at that that, that right? age too though i thought you know that was weird yeah it's kind of like yeah it, it's a it's kind of, yeah you when you see, you see too much it's like damn <laughs> You're like, damn, I really fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> it, it really takes a toll, man. It yeah. really does. Like, it, to where you got to kind of like, it puts you into introversion. Yeah, that's why it's so easy to be an introvert. Because it's like, especially if you like experience a lot of things and then you see a lot of things, like it's so easy to be like, 
uh, retain it in yeah. internally and not talk about it. You're just kind yeah, of like exactly. watching things as they happen and right. like taking notes and right. like shaping your life based on that. Whereas extroverts, I feel like they're not as not not saying they're not empathetic, but they're not like as like self aware. Right. So they're not like interpreting things and then processing them and then like adapting them to their own thoughts. They're more so like da 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 da. Yeah, like, it's all up top. It's all up top. It goes. Right. It, it hits the brain and goes right out, you know? Yeah, like, I always like wondered, like, how... We we just watched 8th Grade the other day. Is that the Have one with... Uh, it was a, a comedian that... Yeah, Bo Burnham, Bo he directed Burnham. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was so good. It was really relatable to, like, kind of, like, the anxiety that I felt being around extroverted people and, yeah, like, yeah. feeling like I had to conform to, like, being a certain type of way. yeah. And it, like they talk about like middle school experiences, so it's extra cringy. Like yeah. <laughs> it's so yeah. funny. Every, like <laughs> looking back on it, nobody really liked middle school. Like fuck nobody. That. Like, fuck if you that. liked middle school, like that's concerning. <laughs> yeah, because it's like there's a lot going. You got puberty hitting you. Like yeah. everybody's hit. Like nobody, not everybody's hitting it at the same time. You got pressure of like mm. it's a lot of shit, man. You're coming to terms with yourself. Yeah, and and that gap of like what, what three years. Yeah, like three years you got like very different kids <laughs> you know what i'm saying like, <laughs> right so you in sixth grade versus an eighth those are totally it's different. a different breed of people yeah. yeah and so like you're all you know mashed together it's going to be some traumatic experiences for sure. <laughs> Bound to be. Yeah, even like, if they're like little things yeah. it's like they like mean a lot for me yeah 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 Do you know that's true I mean, we. I mean, we survived. You know, we're here. <laughs> I mean, we're here. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's that's interesting that we both went to like private school yeah, yeah, in like white suburbia. Did you go to school in like white suburbia or was it, like, um, mixed? it was it was it was kind of it was in West Covina, so it was like oh wow. So it was kind of it was kind of like a a weird mix leaning on the white shit. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. Like it was like so you did have like. Like you had like so if there was like a um like a Latino family they probably would be voting for Trump nowadays. Oh shit. no! You know what I'm saying? Right, it's just yeah, kind of okay. it was like yeah this is but like like yourself like I was very hyper aware of like just everything I was taking in so it was just like right. man this shit is this is a strange experience <laughs> like I was yeah. in high school knowing like this shit is not normal. <laughs> Like, that, like, does anybody else see this? Yeah, like, <laughs> like it was it was very strange to me. Right. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. like, but also it like, um, somehow it, it informed me on how to move, like in the in the world is like, because most of the time, like black people are going to be like. In, in, in like most settings outside of our community, we're gonna be like the only one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, right. Um, yeah. How have you like coped with like being the only one? The token. I feel like the token. I. I mean, I experience that in the film industry all the time, but it's just like deconstructing it's, that, but also it's yeah. like internalized in it's, my history and right. stuff. Right. I think that's changing for everyone right now. Right. I feel like right now, like. Um, and as we should, I don't think we going, cause I feel like back, you know, even up to like last year, probably, you know, niggas was like conforming to those spaces. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't think we should, or we, we need to anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I feel like most of the time it's before like the apocalypse we're going through right now. <laughs> Whatever this is about. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like it was like, all right, how do I not be intimidating? How do I not like come off as uh, rude or, you know, you know, or, or just like aggressive or something or like, how do I tone down like um, my appearance so that right. it's, it's lending to that, to them. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think, I think, for me, like it was, it started probably like maybe two, three years ago, when it was kind of like I, that shit is out for me. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think the times now are just you know now it, it's given more credence to to doing that. Like it just it it's a really good 
it's it's a really empowering time. I feel like some in a in a weird way to like just you scream your what you are. Right, because it's like we're going through like a revolution and a pandemic. Yeah, so yeah. we're like mad, but like inside yeah, <laughs> we can't yeah. do anything about it. But it's yeah. like but now it's like out. Now it's like this is what we've been saying this whole time. Right, like, like that's um, what I'm confused about. Is like people are acting like all of the information that's being given out right now is new. Right. And then like people are acting like like shocked too. And it's like, these are things that we've been screaming and shouting about for years. And yeah, now your brands is. are conforming to the shit. Yeah, and like, yeah. now you guys are trying to listen. Like, what is the disconnect? I, Why do you guys have to see like an awful video for you guys yeah. to care? And I, I don't, and I, Honestly, I don't think they do. Like it's it's very empty to me. Right. Like, it's like half ass. Yeah. Like I, like at this point, it's it's what action is being done. You know, I don't right. I don't really care about empty like um, gestures um, that lead to nowhere. Like right. what is what problem is this fixing? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like I I I feel like we. Can, <laughs> I feel like uh, we can't go in depth because I don't know these big companies might like need uh, uh, <laughs> they need us right yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying yeah, so that's it's true. just like for culture uh, for as an audience yeah even, but interpret. it's also like and this is it's it's almost it's like this is very strange still you know what I'm saying because it's like um. It's just not genuine. Like anything that's yeah. not genuine is strange to me. You know right. what I'm saying? So it's just like you're just doing this because what I told you about it type shit. Yeah, or like because you're getting called out. Yeah, you, you feel don't guilty. You don't want to lose guilt. money too. Yeah. Like that's a big thing. Yeah, too. yeah. That's just nasty to me. It's just like you you couldn't you couldn't have done this on the strength of your own like on your own time. Yeah, your own strength of your own or your own morals. Maybe because they don't have, you know, they don't have any. You know what I'm saying? So right. it's just like, ah, it's it's, it's, a, fr- it's a rabbit hole. It's, it's a frustrating. Rabbit hole. Yeah, it's like an endless cycle. It's like out of our control. And then it's also like people are like asking us to like do the labor for them. Like I mm-hmm. keep getting messages like, Shade, do you know like any black filmmakers for? Yeah, I'm like, we've been thing. here. That's like, that's like that's why are you acting? Like it's so easy to find like find people to like to do the research yourself Mm -hmm. it takes like one google search honestly there's so many platforms where like they're posting black artists right now yeah not even just filmmakers and then people still act like it's hard it's hard to find find us and i'm like what do you what where is the disconnect yeah yeah yeah. i don't understand it's like we're an endangered species (laughs) right like we're in the fucking zoo or something like where is the koala yeah yeah it's like in a way it just continues to fuel like these people are animals. Like right. they're, they're not. We're not humans. To yeah, them. yeah. It still feeds into that. I don't. I don't know how. You know. How we got here is. It, it, it's, <laughs> it's so crazy. random. It's, I mean, just like as a society. Like, like, oh, like, I thought you meant this conversation, <laughs> I mean, how, but that too. <laughs> yeah, like as a society, like I don't even know how like we let. Not is not placing the blame on anyone, but I don't know how like. People were. People like oppressors were able to live with themselves this long. <laughs> right. It's so crazy. Yeah. Like even from the beginning of like imperialism, <laughs> like imperialism. Like, way back, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like imperialism as a thing sounds nuts. <laughs> right. Like I read history, like or, even when you watch like drunk history, like you yeah, see some yeah. of the acting out and like they make they pick fun of like history. Yeah. But like it's just like how were people like honestly thinking like that yeah like, like making actions like i'm gonna just hop on your land and just be like it's mine now. <laughs> it's mine bitch yeah. let, me, let me kill you while yeah. i'm at it i like, mean i got guns what? so i mean i got weapons so i mean it's crazy this, this is me now i'm here <laughs> this is me now i mean you can do what you want but you might get killed for it so all right it's just it's so it's so crazy to like even think about have like that kind of like thought pattern right but I mean, this this is where we we're living. It is know? what it is, unfortunately. Yeah. But do you feel like? Do you feel like? You know, like how do you feel right now? Like, do you feel like? 
how do you feel about the future? <laughs> like, <laughs> like what, um, what do you hope the future to be? You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't know. I've been like on the fence about it, but mm-hmm. it's like, it's so easy to let them win. You know what I mean? Like to be depressed about this and like to not do anything and like just stay home all day and like be scared of the world essentially. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But like, I feel like, black people specifically are not doing that right now like we're being 10 times vocal we're still doing the work we're still organizing even when we shouldn't like have to Mm -hmm. and now that people are more receptive to listening right now because their brands are being called out and shit like they're finally taking in the information Mm -hmm. so it is like a tiring process but like i'm still down to fight the good fight (laughs) until like everyone's with it you know what i mean like even with my organizing work like yeah people are talking about like someone someone i was in conversation with someone and they were like how are you because i'm doing a lot of organizing about bringing more black women representation Mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. the filmmaking world especially in camera Mm -hmm. and someone was like like why are you doing all of this work like is it not draining for you Mm. and like yes it is draining but also like i want things to change for like future generations because like mm-hmm. i'd rather me suffer now and then the people the younger black women like after me mm-hmm. like have an easier path because right. even me like i feel privileged to be here because there were black women behind the camera that were suffering like yeah, <laughs> literally sure. oh, they've been through yeah. a lot right. more things than i right. have and I, I, imagine, I feel grateful i imagine like filmmaking right. was like a boys club just like anything yeah. else was yeah exactly um yeah so that's that's kind of where i'm at like yeah. I'm willing to keep doing the work until right. things change. I, if that's where the meaning to life is, in a way, you know. What <laughs> yeah. I mean? Like I, I feel like that's what I've been kind of thinking about too. Is just like there's, I mean, at the present, um, there's not, there's really not too much to do in the present, but look at the future and like, right, exactly. Like look out for, you know the people coming after you right that are most close most close associated with you in a way you know i think that's what gives value to activism it, even in itself yeah, yeah yeah i mean so it's <clears throat> it's a it, it, so like in, in those spaces like um do you do you feel like do you do you do you feel a way? You know do I, mean? I feel a way? What do you yeah, mean? like like personally. Like do you um feel a way about do you do you feel like you represent like um more people than just yourself? Whoa, that's a question. Uh kind of. Because it's like there aren't a lot of people who are willing to like speak up and like do the work. But mm. also it is a lot of pressure. It's like damn <laughs> like yeah. if i say the wrong thing or like yeah. i don't know a specific you, fact about something like it's it's like very nerve-wracking because it's like so easy for like especially like with activism like mm-hmm. you have to have your facts checked yeah you have yeah. to do the research and then if someone has a question you need to know the answer at all times and that's what's really nerve-wracking mm-hmm. it's like if you're speaking upon the people and then you say one wrong thing, like it's yeah. so easy for people to disvalue your cause or like your mission. Yes, yeah, it's, it's very, it's very hard to like represent more than yourself. Than yourself. Yeah, because at the end of the day, like we're all individuals. You right. know what I'm saying? So like, there is no, I, I you know when when there's a common cause, it's just based on proximity. In, in right. Way. Yeah. You know, it, I don't think we ever truly if we get it at a granular level like i don't think we all truly agree with everything yeah like you know everyone still has like their own personal yeah. values or like direction with when they, where they want to take yeah, it yeah it's like there's a there's a certain in- interpretation on you know what the cause is you know, right to. but the, i think that's what makes organizing really hard too because mm-hmm. like um it's hard to get people to care Mm, you're like yeah. even people who are being like experiencing the repercussions of racism like mm-hmm. like it's hard for people to want to like actually do yeah. the action or like the work to do it like it right. takes convincing and like right that's why it's really hard for us to have a quote-unquote other revolution because it's like yeah. we need us all to be aligned yeah. <laughs> and it's like hard to get everyone aligned right and like what does that even look like in 2020 is like yeah. what i've been wondering too yeah exactly that's what i that's what i've been been asking is like i have no clue 
Yeah, I mean, I have hopes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but like, right. Um, and I, I think reality is shattered at this point. <laughs> you know, yeah. so like, I guess that's the only thing we can grasp onto is our hopes and, and our, our and dreams. Our dreams yeah. What we think the future is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a, such a strange predicament. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, what was your first thought today? My first thought today. Yeah. What do you think when you woke up? What did you think about? Well, bro, <laughs> I should not be thinking like that. <laughs> I have I have no recollection. Really? Oh, I woke up feeling good. Yeah. I don't know why. I just woke up in a good mood. I had a really hard week, and it was hard for me to focus. Uh huh. But then today, not even with coffee too. Like I woke up, I was. Are you good. addicted to coffee? Yeah, I need coffee to function, honestly. Yeah. But like when I'm. When I'm on without coffee, I'm like, whoa, yeah. she actually might be happy today. <laughs> it's like, wait, what's happening? Yeah. <laughs> Which I thought was cool. Yeah. Fuck it. You can just be up. Just right. Just like, yeah, just that the drudgery of the day. <laughs> right. Because that's when the numbness that. kicks in. Like when yeah, you're relying yeah. on coffee for yeah. energy and like stimulation and stuff. Yeah. I don't, I don't drink coffee. You didn't, do you drink tea? No. No, I don't drink. I don't drink any of that but How like stay like awake you know that's the that's a common question and i i don't have an answer for it <laughs> yeah i just like don't. i'm still finding it for myself <laughs> yeah like you just you just kind of like um loki those green juices be reviving people really? too that gives me energy too what's your what's your morning routine like like what do you what do you do okay i have a whole <laughs> that's here i have a process i i feel like <laughs> you strike me as somebody that has like all right, not even like a, a like an o- OCD type A person, but I feel right. like you have like a couple like uh, processes in your, oh, like under just your belt. Structure, just, yeah. just like just some throwaway <laughs> just ones. A little like, something. Yeah, um, like you got a routine for brushing your teeth. I'm weak. In the shower. <laughs> yeah, like I have a certain time, kind of, ta- kind yeah. of like a time frame. Or just like an order of things. Like yeah, like an like, order. Yeah, just gotta yeah. be like yeah. Right, I do that. Like, so. What's your morning like? Like, what is, what does that look like? Uh, I wake up at like nine, and I set like hell alarms because I'm the type of person that can't wake up with one alarm. Oh yeah. So I have like eight forty five, nine, nine so sixteen, like, seventeen, eighteen. Oh, uh, so I was about to give you like, <laughs> you know, I was about to commend you for having like solid numbers. <laughs> oh yeah, like like the forty like fives and the o'clocks. Yeah, it's very specific. But then you got into the sixteens. Yeah. I do like a 10 minute jump just in case because like sometimes I would sometimes I wake up before my alarm and that's when I feel the best but like sometimes I just cannot physically get up so I yeah. set those like extra 10 minutes so then I'm like oh I have a little a little bit to close my eyes doesn't, <laughs> doesn't waking up feel like someone reaches down into your soul through your mouth <laughs> what? and like turns it's like them trying to like rip your soul out reverse revert from inside like it just it's hard to wake up yeah well i don't have that exact visual in my head but it feels <laughs> like <laughs> it feels I feel like, similar i feel like someone reaches like from my, like i said from my mouth it reaches down to my whole body uh-huh. grabs my soul from the heel and then tries to like yank rank yank me Whoa. out yank like that's what waking up feels like but then you know do you have nightmares like a lot of nightmares no i'm just i'm just trying to like put visuals to the feeling oh interesting it's not like a like a dream or anything it's just like that's what it feels like right i just hate waking up i wonder if that like i mean that's like some other shit but like i wonder if that has to do with like how you passed in like your past life oh yeah yeah for sure like some like, like maybe you're like spread like abruptly taken yeah or something. i definitely feel like when we go to sleep we die a little bit like, like, it's, <laughs> like, a, like it's like a little death it's just like a little <laughs> hint of what next, it's a death appetizer yeah it's just like a a mousse bouche <laughs> I mean, it, it's like funny. a it's just like a little taste of like okay this is this is nothingness. This yeah, this is kind of what it feels like to slip into the to the the vast unknown. Um we I'd be scared to die in my sleep. Really? I would be scared to die in my sleep. Cause then I don't even like 
I'd rather die knowing that I'm going to die, actually. Really? Than you want to know, it's... like, coming up? like you don't Yeah, because I have, time. like, some little things I would want to do before I die. Yeah, and I think that's the th- I think <laughs> that's, that's like... where the real fear is. I think the real fear is not accomplishing the things that you want Yeah, to. or, like, not even just being able to say goodbye yeah, to your loved ones or yeah. something like that. Yeah, I, I fear that. I feel like... <laughs> I, I've been thinking about this a lot lately. So, like, I, I feel like... <laughs> Say me, just I just died. I'm not even gonna say it because, yeah, I, I'm. I fear that. Yeah. <laughs> um, I pass before I, I expect to. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'd be pissed. I'd come back and just haunt. Yeah, however like, I die. You know, I didn't even get to me. get this law, this this right here. Right. But like. Uh, but say the whole world got, you know, just wiped out. Right. I feel a little bit better about it. Like, everybody just lost their whole, you know. Really? Like, That's, isn't that kind of, like, so, like sadistic? Yeah. I like, you'd so. rather everyone die with you than you. Yeah. <laughs> the only yeah, one that it's like It's like, if I can't have this, nobody can. <laughs> nobody nigga. can. Y'all all got to die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That's interesting, though. Yeah. Maybe because it's just, like, it would be more of a comforting feeling for yeah you. i was about to say like it's, not it's, just be like alone too yes yeah, it's, it's yeah and i think that's an, one of the bigger things that we fear about death is like <clears throat> how we gotta do, yeah how we gotta do that shit alone right yeah i think yeah. that for me too because like do you ever just be like existing and then you're like whoa like death and yeah, then you think absolutely. ahead of like wow like there's gonna be one day where i'm not existing on earth yeah. and that is so scary it's I, like a gut wrenching kind of feeling yeah i think i've been thinking about like the opposite of that more. Oh, you know? really? Yeah. Like, oh, well, I'm alive. Like, mm. th- isn't this so weird? Like, and I I mean, when I know I'm, I'm like, I'm good, like, it, it, usually the next moment is, like, gratitude for mm-hmm. that. You know what I'm saying? But, right. But, yeah, it's been happening a, a lot more lately where it's just, like, isn't it, like, strange that, like, there's this like we're breathing and there's, there's <laughs> we're thoughts. existing and, yeah, yeah there's thoughts that are happening and some thoughts I just sneeze oh, <laughs> thank you that's so weird I've never done that <laughs> I hope that I wonder if that sounds nasty Ew. do you yeah. like cut this up or does it go like oh I'm gonna cut it up because you said you wanted that oh yeah it's not one bit <laughs> oh yeah i just don't want that to come yeah, back to yeah, me yeah i don't want that to either so <laughs> okay fire. But usually i just let it i just let oh like right. let it go through yeah it's like me. the one time i interview a filmmaker <laughs> she's like cut that shit out yeah. of me <laughs> um but yeah like um like it's just so it's so it's such a it's such a what is the what is the word how, how do i feel about being alive <laughs> like it's um it's kind of thrilling mm-hmm. you know like but it's very like it's not even it feels like it's not even real in a way right it's like hard to like process and it, it's kind of like it works on my anxiety sometimes too because mm-hmm. like sense. you you keep thinking about it and you're just like damn like so like like I'm really here, <laughs> you know. Right. You don't. You ever get those moments, or you think more of just like the end of things, <laughs> you know? Uh, I don't really know. I feel like I'm more so like yeah, lean towards like oh whoa, I'm gonna die one day. The, like, but then I forget, and then I'm like okay, I'm existing, ha ha ha, and mm-hmm. then I'm like oh fuck, I'm gonna die one day. Like it's like yeah. a it's like a high and low type thing. Yeah. Yeah. What is what does that do for you? Like. Does it make you work harder? I mean, does yeah, it make you, like, I feel like it's appreciate like appreciate things more. Like it's a mixture of everything. Like yeah. it's also kind of like forced me to like rush my life because it's like I feel like I need to do all of these things before I die. What what do you what things do you think you need to do? I need to. It's more like career goals. Mm-hmm. Like I just really want to make a film that. Kind of like the effect that Moonlight had. Like, I mm-hmm. want to make a film mm-hmm. that is like it starts a revolution type shit. Like, yeah. Moonlight started a revolution of filmmaking, and like it had so much to say about the black community and the black queer community. Mm-hmm. And like, 
I want to be able to, because like we were talking about activism earlier, like I want to make a film that incorporates my love for filmmaking, but also with activism and Mm -hmm. like have that be like, here you go, people take it as you will, but like have that connect with people, I guess, or something like that. Yeah. You want to put your life's work in your expression. Right. in, in, In a way. Right. Yeah, that's, that's beautiful. Like, it, it's beautiful that you can you can call that your career. You know what I'm saying? Like, to, to like, fully dedicate. So, first, <clears throat> have a grasp and understanding of what the, why you are alive. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And right. just have a, a, an understanding of that. But then to, like, submit to it because I think there's a there's a some there's a um there's a submitting that has to happen when you kind of f- feel that you know what I'm saying like when you f- when you're so drawn to something mm-hmm. and there's a lot of distractions in the world and stuff so like you can't be drawn to something and totally not be doing it <laughs> you know what I'm saying right, you yeah. know what I'm saying but mm-hmm. like I think there is there's a sacrifice and there's a there's like a denial of self to, you know, commit yourself to like what you're convicted of. You mm. know what I'm saying? Wow, and, wait, that's a, that's something to unpack. What's that? Commit yourself to something you're con- like. We say convicted of. Um, you said something. Yeah, yeah. Is it to yeah to commit yourself to something that you're, you're so convicted of. Yeah, I think that's what I said. Yeah, yeah, you said something like that. that yeah. Yeah, is is just like it's it's like. Um, you're it's like thinking on another level and then to like actually do it just like how you were saying before like it takes a lot of effort to like get people to actually (laughs) to actually care yeah Yeah, to actually get you know like in writing you know get you know your butt to seat you know and just get there and start hammering you know start hammering stuff out i think it applies to everything you know what i'm saying like and it's just so hard to take that 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 step in actually um it, it, it actually making like strides towards tangible things like right. making thoughts become things and shit right because it's it's interesting how we're talking about like not caring but also getting people to care yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel, I, like I, i'm still figuring out what the boundaries of that are for me but like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, I just thought that was interesting right. yeah yeah um what time is it? I know you got to go. What time is it? Oh, we got some time. We got. Some oh yeah, time. we're fine. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, have you learned anything uh, about yourself, like recently? Um, What's the latest thing you learned about yourself? That I'm really hard on myself. <laughs> oh man. That's oh, that's what one to unpack. What does your inner voice sound like? Uh, very all over the place, like a crackhead. Like, really? but not in like a crazy sense. It's just, it's just like I can't imagine. What does your crackhead voice sound like? Tell me. It's what like shut it? You need to be doing this. It's just, it's just like all. It's, it's like very spazzy. that SpongeBob meme where like they have all the files and they're like burning shit. Yeah, yeah. that's my mind all the time. Yeah, so it's, just it's really a man. journey. <laughs> Is it a high pitch voice? Is it a SpongeBob voice? No. I feel like it's like a. I feel like it's just myself reflected, like my yeah. neutral voice. Yeah, it's kind of like there's a movie like that. What movie is it? No. I'll think of it, but it's just like kind of me just t- talking to myself, yeah. being like, "Shadi, you need to do this, but also, why aren't you doing this? But also, like, go easy on yourself." Do you call? Do you, you call yourself by your name in your head? yeah <laughs> oh my god this is like really going in but i talk about myself in third person a lot i don't know why yeah. it's a I don't, I don't know what the root of that is. does it ever come out like do you ever be, does like words come out your mouth when you talk yeah about like even when people like i was on set the other day and someone was like oh did anybody the director was like did you do xyz or something like that or like who did xyz and i was like oh shade did that and i was like why did i just talk about myself in third person it was so random yeah but I do it's so do interesting that. it's yeah. so interesting because like w- which which version are you are you you know what i'm saying like oh oh yeah you know what i'm saying like are you the observe like who am i talking to right now observer <laughs> shade the shade that's here now or like <laughs> you know right who's um 
Who's Who, calling the shots here? Who's calling the shots? I feel like it's the crackhead shot. Really? <laughs> it's like the... How's crackhead shot they doing? Like, <laughs> is she okay? Is she all right? I feel like it's like... You say off the... Maybe she needs to like put the pipe down. You know? <laughs> maybe she needs to sit back. No, yeah. for real. I feel like I'm... Because we ta- I was talking about this the other day with someone like how you can't just be an introvert or an extrovert. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I'm... Let me do this right in my head. Mm-hmm. I'm an extroverted inter introvert. Yeah. Where uh, we're like I am naturally comfortable with introversion, mm-hmm. but in certain instances I can be an intro- extrovert. Sometimes mm-hmm. it's a coping mechanism, or like sometimes it's like me just adapting to my environment, or like trying to like survive, quote mm-hmm. unquote. Yeah, yeah. And so like that's I feel like that's comes to play with like my different shoddies. Like it's yeah. like I can be an introvert where I'm very quiet, just kind of like taking in the world, making notes of things. <laughs> yeah. And then I adapt that into my extroversion like when I need to. Yeah. I feel like that's a, that's actually more common than than we like to admit. I feel right. like there I just feel like there's no absolutes in the world. So like whoever created the the thing of like there's introverts and there's extroverts, um, was lying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like, there's no way. There's no. There's right. It, there's no way that one person can be one. Right. Like title. Yeah, I, I feel like title. maybe you know people lean more towards something. Something. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's how they present themselves. But I, I feel like everybody needs like a moment at some point. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, or like. Yeah, I, I feel like everybody needs a moment. Yeah. Because, like, how do you connect with yourself? You know, like, like, that's where I feel like like most of the work is done. Yeah, that's true. I've, I've actually found that I am... I learn about myself through conversation, mm. which mm-hmm. is interesting. Mm-hmm. What kind of conversation? Like, even just stuff like this. Like, okay. I... Like, I may just be, like, casual in conversation, but I'm taking notes, like, oh, I said that. Yeah. I need to think about this more. Or yeah. I need to work on this. You know what yeah. I mean? And, like, I feel like when I can... I guess it's a bit of extroversion, too. Like, when I'm connecting with someone or I'm talking to someone and it's about something I really care about or, like, I am really into the conversation, I am, like, extra vulnerable. And it's mm-hmm. just, like, something that's, like, not as conscious as I think it is. Mm-hmm. And then I'm like, wait, let me backtrack now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and let me interpret and analyze that and see, like, how I can About yourself, learn you're saying? Yeah, about myself. Like, okay. if I say, like, a tidbit that's like, oh, it's a very personal statement. Yeah, like, yeah. Because like it's always been, like, yeah, I feel you. I told you. I, I know exactly what you're saying. Because sometimes those thoughts don't come out until... Th- those you hear them yeah. yeah you hear yourself say them yeah right i mean i and guess that's why people go to therapy though. exactly <laughs> you know you know that's ex- that's exactly why because sometimes we don't believe ourselves until it comes until out until it mouth. comes out right? and then you sit back and you're just like why am i like this <laughs> why am i just to figure <laughs> yeah. this out yeah yeah that's true that's really yeah. real so it like what did you say you learned about yourself like, like you, that you're like you're you're very hard on yourself. Yeah, I'm very hard on myself. I'm very what, hard on myself. What do you, what do you what? <laughs> you're like you, unpack that. <laughs> what got you that to that conclusion? I guess like. Uh, I guess more so that you want to share, like you yeah, know, like, like uh, tell us your deepest darkest. <laughs> yeah, like tell me about everything. Like, yeah. Um, I guess just like in a vague sense, it's more so like with my career too. Like, mm. I, I'm only twenty. And like, oh, really? yeah, which is, that's a whole thing, but I'm only 20, but I feel like I need to be doing more. And it's mm. like always this pressure. Like I need to be doing more with my filmmaking work, but even with my organizing work, but also doing more with like my personal relationships. Mm-hmm. And it's like me just always constantly struggling or pushing myself to be a better version of myself, I guess. And mm-hmm. then I'm like, but then there are other times where I'm like, Shade, you did X, Y, Z. You did all that you mm-hmm. could. Mm-hmm. You're doing good be easy on yourself like yeah, why are you pushing yourself yeah, more than you need too. to be yeah so it's like i guess that's like the the difference between my ex like my extrovert and my introvert again like me calling myself out which is like very interesting i'm like wait <laughs> hold up yeah what do you think like what what made you like an activist like is there a defining moment where you're just like yeah this is my shit <laughs> I need to do this. Um, that's a that's a that's a big. That's actually a, a big I've never been asked that actually. 
I feel like it's like it's a mixture of things, but mm. one, my mom told me that I was like an active, like I was a Black Panther in my past life. Yeah. She's like spiritual, so she like yeah. read me and she's like, "You died for activism or something," yeah. and that's why it's something you care about. So I'm yeah. like, I actually believe that. Like I feel that in my yeah. my soul, but also like, two, I think it's like it goes back to like growing up in white suburbia and Palm Springs. Like mm. I yeah. instead of conforming and letting white suburbia mm. get to me and like shape who I am, I. Yeah like chose not to and i chose to like stand my ground and like fight for what i believe in yeah, and like make space for you yeah like, it's like make up space for me because it's so easy for my it was so easy for my my culture specifically my black culture specifically yeah. to be erased yeah and then i saw, yeah. i found like black films and i was like fuck yeah like this yeah. is amazing like what was I the do first this. one you stumbled upon do the right thing like a hundred percent that changed my life yeah, and like just like as soon as i i don't know also tapped into art too like yeah. i was like i love the power of using art as a tool for activism right and like it's, that's yeah. just something that inspired the, me and i was like okay through the history of the world right that's, that, so many i don't know ways. how we can't we can't explain like it's it i don't know how we can't express ourselves you know what i'm saying right. like people that and history shows like you know the most oppressed people are going to find channels to to express that 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 exp oppression you know? right and so like yeah so you you were tapping in to like it's just, it, i don't know it just sounds natural to me that you would find the arts and stuff you know yeah like i think it was just like a coping thing too because like it yeah, was so for easy sure. for me to hide behind a camera right. so i was right. like right. Yeah. <laughs> right yeah but i feel that too like i don't understand how people can't I don't know, find a means to express themselves. Like, what do people who, like, work nine to fives do? I don't know, you know? It's like, yeah. maybe that's what their purpose. That's their own personal taste. But, like, I always just kind of wonder about that. Like, how do people exist without expression, like, self-expression? Mm -hmm. Or, like, mm -hmm. what are their other forms of self-expression to get them there? Yeah, I mean, I, sometimes I feel like, you know, we have such a... Maybe our... our our viewpoint of what expression is is kind of narrow. So right, in, in like it ways. might be different than what they yeah, like so think. like, and, and I've learned that over time. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I I used to think the same thing. Like I I don't know, I don't know how to I'd be breathing because there was a point in time in my life where I wasn't expressing and right. You know, it was just like, yeah, there was it was it wasn't a good time. So like, I can't even. Imagine, oops, breathing without doing that. I have a cramp in my foot. <laughs> oh, <killing> no. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, no, this reminds me of that one show. I've only seen like one episode, but Midnight Gospel. Like, Oh, I love Midnight Gospel. Sometimes I, there will be I moments like where the deep. baby <laughs> at the end. I didn't watch the full thing. I just oh, watched like an it. episode. You got to. You, but people it, told me to watch it. They said yeah, it was really good. Midnight Gospel is my shit. But something will happen in their own personal world. And then <laughs> like break yeah, from yeah, the yeah. story it's kind of funny it felt like that moment yeah uh, that's a that's a compliment um you animate this <laughs> that's a whole other thing <laughs> um i forgot what i was saying uh you're talking about how you used to be the kind oh, of person yeah that, yeah yeah so like, <laughs> see, i'd be taking notes I was <laughs> yeah no you're just thank you for listening you know for real um but yeah like um yeah at this point i can't even imagine like how it would be to not express you know i think right. it'd be detrimental to my health my mental health for sure but then at the same time um like my wife it was it, it she's not she expresses in different ways like very different to, from what i express in. Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so i was like there's a point in time when it's just like if if i had like if i kept a narrow uh gaze or viewpoint and and just thought and define what other people how other people express you know according to my gaze mm -hmm. um then i would think oh she don't express but like in her experience you know she's she has mental balance by doing this that and the third you know what i'm saying like mm -hmm. i think at that at the end of the day expression is just defined at what keep you saying you know what i'm saying like right you know and that can be a plethora of things depending on your like your actual experience here but like right what was that like journey like of like adapting to your like partner's love language or like they're even just like they're 
form of communication. Yeah, yeah. Um, Even expression too. I think it was it was. Um, for me, I'm just like going back to like a scene, mm-hmm. seeing people, you know, for what it is in a way. Mm-hmm. Um, what kind of drew me to her is she was just like um, herself and didn't even know. Like, she didn't know how else not to be. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, that's cute. Yeah. So, like, so for me, it was like, um, it was, I didn't have to, it wasn't hard for me to, like, um, adapt because I knew what, what I saw was what I got. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. And it kind of put things at ease for me. I think it was a little bit more jolting for her, like uh, dealing with me, because I, you know, I, I'm just me. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm a little <laughs> all over the place sometimes, <laughs> it, or, or very different from like the environment that she grew up in. Right. You know what I'm saying? So right. like, I'm, I was, I'm very to myself, very reserved. And, you know, a lot of the stuff I do is like by myself, and you know, I only speak when I when I need to type shit. Mm-hmm. You know, and so a lot of the expression comes in comes through my hands in a way. Mm-hmm. You know, it comes from the work that I do. Mm-hmm. So like, usually, um, like for me, like if you want to get to know me, look at you know tap into the work type shit Mm -hmm. but for her she she kind of you know wears her her heart on her sleeve and stuff so that was like a thing that I think she had to get used to more than I did because I'm you know I'm chilling yeah you're like I'm unbothered yeah yeah yeah. (laughs) you know like like you said like I'm the tourist guy you know I'm just like I you know whatever happens happens and stuff Mm -hmm. but as long as I I know things are genuine I'm fine you know what I mean like and I can accept I can I can accept people for who they are and stuff. Like I'm not looking, I wasn't looking for some like a, a partner to like um, have anything, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But themselves in a way. Mm-hmm. And so I don't know. It's just it's just the the act of like seeing somebody for like know? who they are, yeah, who they really are. And fortunately, I was you know she may I don't know if it was just some divine shit or like, mm-hmm. but. That's, it became kind of apparent for me right early I don't know maybe it's the same for her I don't know maybe <laughs> I know that would be a good conversation <laughs> to have yeah I would hope so I mean like <laughs> we were pretty far down we made some decisions that we can't go back on <laughs> right <laughs> I mean yeah I mean or we wouldn't <laughs> want to go back on like it's just but um yeah I uh should I ask you about your your love life? I don't know. I'm, no, I'm no. Nervous. I don't know <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not, for, not, yeah, not today. <laughs> not today. Okay. So let's book another episode. No, I'm playing. <laughs> Follow up episode yeah, yeah, from sure. there. Yeah. That's funny. What time is it? Two. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, friend. We're good. Yeah. Uh, you wanna? Uh, how you feeling? You wanna rap? Uh, we can go like two more minutes. For sure. Let me ask you. Let me ask you one more thing. One final thing. Um. First of all, how are you feeling? Like, you, you, is everything? Did you feel like you got out what you came for? Yeah, like this was a dope conversation. Oh, okay, I learned a lot about myself too. Even I love oh, that good. it's like very stripped down too, and I feel like I don't know. A lot of interviews are very like formal, like da da da. da yeah. How did you da da da? But it's not like what do you care about? What are you passionate about? Yeah, and I feel like yeah. those are the questions that I'm more like interested in yeah so i mean i didn't get to ask you like what like so <laughs> what is that what is is it that are you do you have a specific activism are you you know do you care about one thing more than others <laughs> like what do you mean like i guess when you i feel like sometimes like in activism it can be like what are you active about you know what I'm saying? Like there can right. be so many things. You know, there's so many, there's so many issues, mm, so many things mm-hmm. wrong with the world. But I guess what, yeah. 
what am I fighting for? I guess, what, or what strikes a chord with you most? Like, if you see something on the street right now, what are you about to be like? <laughs> what am I what about is, to screw up? <laughs> yeah, like, if you've seen something crazy on the street right when you leave here, what do you... Because in a, in a way, I feel like activism is something is like you're you're going up a hill that you know you're going to die on. Right. You know, you're, you're willing to die for it. You know what I mean? In a way. It, and that can... doesn't have to be physical, but like there's something that you... There's a lot of sacrifice involved, I guess. Yeah. Um. I mean, I feel like I like that's not my kind of like I'm not like a Malcolm X. I'm like a MLK. Right. Right, right, <laughs> like, right, right, right. I'm more so like I advocate more for like sharing resources and gotcha. education gotcha. and like tools. Got gotcha. you. And then also like bringing people together is gotcha. more so my. Gotcha. Thing. But I would like I would love to be on my Malcolm X stuff. But no, like, no, I, I'm not even saying so. that. I'm just I'm just saying like <laughs> I no, could not square up. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> That was just like a, a figure of speech. Oh, like a like, specific. Like, okay, guys. Yeah, I, was just, I was being, I was being dumb. <laughs> that's a that's an interesting question though, because some people have very different answers to that though. Like, yeah, I don't know what I like. I don't know what I would die for. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But like, I you, there are certain things like like you said. Like I, I truly believe in sharing wealth too not i mean obviously not to the point where you know it, where you are you know what i'm saying right but like everybody has their thing that they care about the most that's all i was trying to find out right you know i see you yeah that's true um is there what's something the world doesn't know about you but shit oh uh, i don't know <laughs> <laughs> that's an interesting question mm. Mm. Like a like a funny fact or like you can do it wherever you want to go whatever I think. Where do you sweat the most? Where do I sweat the most? I don't know. You don't have a go to spot like my mine is like the armpits. Oh, like you you meant that literally? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like if I'm nervous or something, or like the first thing that's gonna drop is oh my, right i see sure. you i feel like it's my head because my hair really you my hair a lot of <laughs> yeah insulation. that's why i always have my hair up most of the time really? only if it's like cool outside yeah because i just sweat it's nasty <laughs> <laughs> all, right. <laughs> all right did anybody know that other than yourself no i don't think so i mean i feel like everybody sweats on their forehead though I actually don't know. Yeah. That's the most crackhead-esque question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, you feel good? You feel yeah, good? I feel good. All right, let's 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 get you out of here. I don't want to make you late. Oh, right, yeah, because I still have to, I have to get back. Yeah. <sighs> that was a great convo. Yeah, thanks, for, thanks for doing this. Yeah, thanks for having me. I think that's the bathroom. Yeah, that's the bathroom real quick. It's over there.